Hi guys, this is Jake with Think Free Live Free. I've gotten a lot of questions recently about how I grounded my grow wood in my van. So I just wanted to share with you and show you what I did to ground the grow wood 3000 inverter. So when you run your AC wire, you're going to end up getting an open ground. To fix that situation, you basically run a jumper cable from your AC output side and I will show you that you run a jumper cable from the white wire to the ground wire so you basically make a loop but you're gonna have a problem when you connect to shore power so I ended up adding a switch basically just like a light switch from the output uh, side like the green wire you run a jumper cable down to the switch and then you run another cable to the white that way you have a switch that just can break the circuit um, because when you connect to shore power it's already going to be grounded at the plug so that's going to be a problem if you have two grounds i hope this helps people out there if they've been really stuck on this i did talk to the manufacturer and that's what they suggested um, i believe it's called the floating floating ground i do have a wire that runs from my DC side from my negative bus bar to the chassis of the van so in 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 all actuality that is grounded on that side on the DC side the light is not the best here I'm gonna try to show the best I can but so on the grow what 3000 um, the AC input is on the front side and the AC out is on the back you're gonna run a jumper cable so where your green wire goes in on your AC out in that same hole you're gonna stick a green wire in there with the other green wire and then you will just loop it over to the neutral wire and stick it in there, that hole so it, technically there will be two wires in that same spot but if you're gonna do shore power, you have to run a switch like this. So, so it's very simple. You run your wire from the green, from the ground wire down into the switch. And then I have another white wire basically going up to the white of the AC output. And that creates some kind of feedback um, for the for the wire to ground so you will hit the switch uh, before you plug into shore power so i hope that helps some people out there um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll do the best that i can to answer them i did contact the manufacturer that's what they suggested so if there are any other ideas out there let me know i am very open to uh, try other things but it did fix my situation with my ac outlets showing an open ground so my little tester here shows two lights which means it's correct if I come back over here and I hit the switch only one light is on now which if you look at the diagram here it says open ground and if I hit the switch again to turn it on not breaking those the the little jumper cable you can see there now it shows correct so I hope that helps uh, some people out there that has similar issues and um, have been wondering how to ground your grow what 3000 I do believe it's called the floating ground or a floating neutral it's fixed my situation I have not had any issues with my electrical I will do another video of all my electrical working but I have not shown that uh, Everything in, in the van is working now. There's my dimmer, dimmer switch on my lights. And I know a lot of people have issues when it comes to ground, especially in a van. So 
Uh, hopefully that will help you out. That was recommended by the manufacturer. So I just wanted to share that and um, put that out there so that uh, people are not struggling so much. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll do the best to answer them. If you have suggestions or other ways of doing that, um, please let us know because uh, it helps everybody out. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Jake with Think Free, Live Free. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye.